Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Fractured Space, and today we are taking out the Brawler class attack craft. Uh, this is another United Space Research craft. Um, it looks solid as hell. I mean, it's clearly got some similar design concepts to the Hunter, which we played earlier, but this is a much different beast. If we look at the loadout, you can see we've got the Fumbo with a maximum range of 5,400 meters and an optimum range of between 1 and 2,000 meters. It's a very rapid fire, very short range, very high damage weapon. Now, to offset that, we do have these two items. We have a Harpoon missile, and you might be thinking of the Harpoon uh, anti-ship missile, uh, but no, this is actually literally a Harpoon missile. It's a missile which harpoons a target, and then, using a secondary ability, you pull that target towards you. Uh, so that's kind of cool. The missile has a range of 22,500, and the slow pull has a range of 15,000. So it's a little bit of an offset. You can fire the harpoon missile early, wait for them to get a bit closer, and then suddenly pull them in. And I believe the harpoon missile does some damage as well. Uh, when they're in close, within 4,000 meters, we have a concussion blast, which will hit anything around us in that radius. Um, damaging their flight systems and shutting down utility systems, so basically their secondary abilities. So for example, if we get concussed, we wouldn't be able to use our concussion or our harpoon missile, I believe. Uh, now we also have some attack drones, you know, low-level fighters for harassing, and of course, engines. So, this is quite a cool craft. I've played it once before, quickly, and um, I racked up about 9 kills very quickly. It was one of the quickest matches I've ever played. I'm very sad I didn't actually record that match because I did really well and we won the match. So let's hope this next one works out as well. But let's jump straight in. Okay, and here we go. It looks like my team is quite heavy on the hunters. The other side does have two snipers though. If I can get in close to those, they're going to have a very bad day. So straight off, let's head for Alpha and start pushing through. The brawler is pretty fast. Um, I don't believe it's as fast as the uh, frigate, but it's got a good turn of speed, as you'll see, and hopefully we can put that to good use. We do have an enemy sniper um, sitting at the enemy base over there, so I think what I'm going to do, depending on what else I see, yeah, okay, he's pulling into the standard position, he's going high, near some cover and then he's just going to take long range pot shots. Is that another sniper? Good lord, okay there are two snipers on this map. Right, that does change things slightly. This might be a very uh, evasive first match. Yeah, he's opening fire on me but yeah, I'm completely out of range and now I'm behind cover. What I'm going to do is I'm going to capture this point so my team starts getting some points and then I'm going to use all these asteroids for cover and work my way around the back of the map. Remember, I've got very short range weapons, so snipers will completely dominate me if I let them. Previous In the previous match I played, I was able to use my maneuverability to my advantage, though. I dodged about 10 shots in a row. I'm not quite sure how I managed that, because... I, yeah, I was just... I was lucky. There's one sniper up there, if you can just see, and the other sniper is sitting up there. So we might take a few hits here. They're probably waiting for someone to show their face. My teammates are all going left. Right, we've got this capture point. Let's see what we can do. Okay, he did try and hit us with a targeting beam, but wasn't able to make it stick. Their sniper on the left is going to have a very bad day shortly. He's got, I believe, two hunters closing in on him quite rapidly. And that guy is not looking at us. Yeah, his guns are pointed the other way. Yeah, the other enemy, sni other enemy sniper is already almost dead. And he is looking at me. Oof. Okay, now we've got to start ducking and diving. There we go. Missiles are incoming. Half of them hit the rock. Activate our point defense. And now we are in cover. There goes our point defense, knocking out those missiles quite handily. So. 
need to get this rock between us. There we go. We did lose about half our health there. That wasn't great. Now what I'm thinking is he's going to expect me to come up behind him. So uh, that's not the direction. No, he's jumping. I can hear him jumping. Yeah, okay. He has left the... Uh, sniper has left the asteroid. That was a terrible joke. I'm really sorry. Okay, we've done really well on here, but Beta is taking a pounding. Hopefully. We do have the advantage, though. We are capturing this base quite quickly. And we've got two of our team in Beta, although one of them just died. We've almost captured this base. Now I am quite damaged. If I jump straight through to the enemy base, my worry is I'm going to die instantly. What I might do is hang here. And there's a reason for that. Not only will I heal up while sitting next to this base, but anything that tries to jump through to here to take the base is going to end up very short range to me. They're going to jump in right on top of me. And they probably won't even see me for a second or two. But it does look like there's only one person in the enemy base. Uh, let's jump through. Let's ignore that. We are healed up now. Let's jump through and see what we can do. What do we got? Enemy sniper. Okay, harpoon missile is away. Let's get this guy in nice and close to us. We have hit. I'm trying to use my pull ability. Yep, this guy is now right on top of us. And he's down. Need to get away from the explosion a bit. Ooh, we took a bit of damage there. What have we got left? We've got another sniper. Okay, point defense is activated, so those missiles shouldn't be too bad. But I need to get inside the capture point and see what I can start doing. Preferably dodging this guy's fire. Like so. Yeah, unfortunately I can't actually capture anything here. Now, unfortunately, that didn't go quite as planned. I think we captured 2% of their base there. And we did take out that, uh, that first sniper before the second one got the drop on us. So, there we go. However, we do still hold Alpha entirely. No one has jumped through to that. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. There we go. Someone has just arrived there. Well, let's go put a stop to that. Currently, their entire team is in their home base, apart from that one guy in Alpha. So I'm going to make a beeline for the other side of this base. I believe there's, yeah, two of them have already arrived. We've got a flagship and that is a brawler, I think. Not sure what that is behind him. There's a sniper there as well. Start taking some evasive actions. Oh, a bunch of them have actually jumped out. I like that you can see the uh, flash of their FTL drives. Yeah, they've all jumped out. That's interesting. Now, possibly they didn't see me and thought this area was okay. Or maybe they're worried about the fact that we're right on top of the beta point. But, this does give me an advantage. I can get right on top of their base, and anyone who jumps through is going to get a face full of brawler. While the rest of my team is doing some good work in beta, actually. We've traded one ship of ours for one ship of theirs. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull it off, though. That looks to be... Yeah, we've just lost another ship. I think it's two on four, and the guy who's on top of the point is probably damaged. Yeah, he's gone as well. Let's see if we can't start capturing this quickly. Oop, try not to hit that. Right. Now, chances are someone is going to jump over here and try and stop me. I mean, if they've got any sense, that's going to be what they need to do. 
so they've probably all gone home. They should have all gone back to their base, and now they'll be jumping through here in about 10 seconds. Okay, we've already got two of our team members in the enemy base. This might be a straight up base fight. We've got two people inside their base capping it. I'm going to make a beeline for this. Sniper, harpoon missile is away. And hit, he is harpooned. Gonna launch fighters on him. Yeah, he's seen me. I'm not close enough to. There we go. He's. Now he's gonna suffer. I'm gonna pull past him. Out of the range of his guns, and he's gonna die quite quickly. There we go. Is that another sniper? Yep. Gonna try and make a beeline for this guy, but gotta dodge a couple of his shots. Not sure if we can. He's actually putting some a lot of fire on us. Missiles are coming through. Wanna get within four thousand to try and concuss him, but no, it wasn't to be. There's a Corvette on our flank putting the fire in as well. Still it looks like we captured twenty two percent of the base. We killed another one of their snipers. The brawl is not invincible, it just can do an incredible amount of damage. So this is the guy who's still fighting in our base. Looks like he took out the sniper that we were closing on. So that was a one-for-one -one trade there. Okay, and we're coming back in. I'm going to head straight to Beta this time because they've got the point there. Oh, no, there is someone in our base. Looks like a flagship. Yeah, there's a hunter right on top of him. dive under the platform. Is he diving under? I thought he was going to try and dive under there. Uh, but it looks like he's just holding position, which is not going to uh, it's not going to do him much good. We've got another flagship that just respawned on top of him. And yet that guy is dead. So, where's the greatest threat right now? We've got an enemy uncapping our alpha point. We're taking back beta. Flagship is going to beta. I'm tempted to go to Alpha and see what damage I can do. If you heard a horrible cracking sound, that was my knuckles, and I apologise. Okay, here we go. Back in Alpha. I seem to spend a lot of my time in Alpha in a lot of these games. Although, if I'm forced to choose between the two at the start, I generally go with the left-hand side, simply because I'm left-handed. Uh, there's no other reason for it, I just, I'm left-handed, and therefore left is right. Of course, you know, it's not right, but still. Okay, enemy brawler. Hmm. Brawler on brawler fights are messy, and he's got a sniper. Of course he's got a sniper. Well, I do enjoy killing snipers, but... Yeah... On my own, the pair of them could quite handily take me out. Get this building between me and the sniper. If that brawler wants to come at me, he's going to have to come in alone. The second sniper is here. Oh, he's got a view on me. He's fired his missiles, but they're just going to come straight in and hit this building. Got to get out of the sight of these snipers. They put a lot of fire into me there, and it's caused me a lot of damage. Did manage to get that guy though. So those snipers are now on their own. If I can stay out of sight of both of those snipers, uh, which I which I can't actually. That was a shame. <laughs> Trying to keep it out of sight of one, and immediately got seen by the other. This hunter. Yeah, he's going to use his blink ability, which is going to cause them a lot of trouble. 
He needs to activate his point defense really and deal with those missiles. There we go, he's going to try and cap that rather than going directly for the top sniper. I'd have been tempted to go for the sniper. Oh, it looks like we do have an allied hunter. Yeah, there's another allied hunter going in for it. I didn't see him. That sniper's going to be a bad day. If he can get behind him, that would be quite good for them. So I'm going to push on Beta. Because I think they might need slightly more help. Actually, I think one of the guys in... Yeah, actually, damn, they took out the guys in Alpha. That is quite bad. Alpha, There's no one in Alpha now apart from those two snipers. So it looks like we've got a flagship and a corvette. I'm going to harpoon the corvette and we're going to knock him out of action so he can't repair the uh, so he can't repair the flagship. Also he's a quick kill to be honest. There we go, he's down. Launch our fighters on this guy. But he's already damaged. We should be able to get a nice easy kill. He's not even started firing on us yet, which is a mistake on his part. He's using his boost to get away, which is a shame. I can't match that kind of acceleration. But my hoop harpoon is recharged, so now he's going to have a bad day. My harpoon. Apparently I can't talk today. Right, let's cuss him quickly. He's fired missiles on us. Okay, he's dead. Explosion's going to hit us a little bit damaged, but that's not too bad. And what is that? There is a... Yep, yeah, support corvette. Otherwise known as an easy kill to a brawler. If he's got any sense, he's going to be jumping for home right now. Unless he knows he's going to have support, he needs to... No, okay. He has chosen to make a bad life decision. Okay, I've hit him with a concussion. And he's down. Which clears up this sector of enemies entirely. Oh, apart from, yeah, this guy who just jumped in on us. We might go down now. This guy can do quite a lot of damage to us. Although, I say that, so can we. Ah, there's the enemy brawler. Well, we've got support. We've got a hunter there. No, couldn't quite kill three ships in a row, which is a shame. So we've got a full minute to respawn. That hunter, yeah, finished off that guy quite easily. Looks like we've got two hunters there. Yep. So they should start jumping through to the enemy base quite quickly. This guy might need to repair. We've got our flagship. He's taking fire. Yeah, he's being engaged by a sniper. Flagship versus sniper is not a good matchup. The flagship's too slow to close with the sniper and can't uh, can't attack it at range. The only thing it's got is his missiles. Which really just don't do enough damage. But we've got two ships in their base and they are completely unopposed. Uh, this is going to be a very quick cap if they, if no one stops them. I'm not even sure if we're going to respawn before they win. If this guy's just hanging himself in. Okay, they are now contesting the cap. We've got more ships in the cap still. We've got three to one. So, yep, yeah, there we go. And that was a nice tidy win. So, that was some brawler gameplay. We got five kills. We died four times doing that, though. So, not that fantastic. I would have liked a better ratio. Uh, three assists and four captures. Overall, I'm happy with that. That was fun. How did the other teams brawler do. Yeah, he got 9 kills to 5 deaths. Oh. And, unfortunately, it looks like the game has 
had a minor crash on me, 